What does it mean to be road smart? Well, the art students at the current secondary and Granovia primary know, and they want the public to know, through art. While St. Lucia's Jazz and Arts Festival approached its climax, the combined group of students were busy jazzing up a bus lay-by at Gras Riviere. The project forms part of the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport Schools Road Safety Program amid continued road incidents involving both drivers and pedestrians. Led by Sherman Sylvester, civil engineer with responsibility for road safety, it involves visits to infant and primary schools in particular, teaching students the do's and don'ts while walking or crossing the road. We recognized during the execution of the road rehabilitation project that a number of children, especially the Granivia children, use this area to cross and to get to the schools and to get to the buses. So we thought that we would start here with our road safety mural initiative where we can depict the message that we have been going on for a few months now in different schools on teaching, on preaching, reminding children and also adults on the basics of using our roads safely and how to cross the roads. Like we have always um, said, stop, look, listen, think before you cross any road, whether it has a pedestrian crossing or not, or a traffic light. The mural is the brainchild of Ricardo Joseph Buski, a technician at the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport. He conceptualized the idea upon completion of the Marisol to Grand Rivier to Union Road rehabilitation project, on which he was part of the department's technical team. I was proud of the work, and then I just said, what happened? Why not do a mural on the two walls? So basically, this mural, this wall, is actually part one of the project or my whole idea. Part two is at the Marisol entrance, where my whole idea is to have Corim do it because it's a bigger wall, taller, and then have Grand Rear and with Corim assisting. So, as you can see, this is the final product of it. Nigel Fede is a visual arts teacher at the current secondary school. Um, a lot of subjects don't have the, the part where the students can actually put what they learn in the classroom into a reality or real um, situation. So my students, I'm teaching them graphic design and that's one way they can actually utilize that talent where they can um, create murals and billboards and signs for everyone to see. So I'm happy that um, that was made possible by the Ministry of Infra Infrastructure. I also like the, the, to thank the primary school students for coming out and learning. I hope some of them will come to Corinth and also join the art group at a current secondary school and I hope they continue drawing because I noticed that not a lot of parents like or encourage the students to go down the half path. So I think um, it's really cool to see a lot of them liking the art and actually incorporating it into something they can do in a professional manner. Teacher Peter Filigen spoke on behalf of the Grand Rivier Primary. It's definitely something needed in the community and for the community of Grand Rivier um, and for the students who use this road and the bus stop on a regular basis. Um, we've had a few incidents already on, on the road which really shows and, and, and says that we, we do ne definitely need a, a, a more, more of an effort to get the information out about road safety. Um, and I'm sure the children enjoyed it but not only that, it, it helps build a bit of their character and confidence, I believe, which they will use a long way when they've left the primary school and even secondary schools. The mural, however, would not have been possible without the benevolence of the private sector, whom without hesitation responded to the call for sponsorship. Carrasco and Sons Limited provided all the paint required. KFC Real Foods Inc. sponsored lunch for the three days spent painting. The Celt St. Lucia Inc. donated a speaker to the current secondary art room, which was also used to provide the budding artists with musical entertainment while they worked. When we were approached by the Ministry of Infrastructure to partner in this project, we were very excited to jump on board because this is a most worthwhile enterprise that is important to the community. There are three schools within, I think, less than a mile of this junction and a lot of traffic of students and young people going through here today and we need to look after and protect our most valuable resource, our young people in St. Lucia. But thank you very much for involving us in this pro process. We are very pleased to be involved in this project. Uh, when 
Mr. Fivri sent the letter, we will, I mean, without hesitation, it was a no-brainer for us to come on board because we believe that this initiative and similar ones is needed and we encourage it. So once again, I'd like to like, thank you for inviting us, like Mr. Carrasco said. Um, it's something that we didn't think twice to come on board and assist us just to provide the meals for the students, although it's a very minute contribution. But um, I think it was worthwhile, a, very, a worthwhile activity. And I can see that the students did an amazing job. The sponsors have pledged their continued support to the Department of Infrastructure's Schools Road Safety Program. Reporting for the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport, I am Miguel Favre.